it's a second molar day in my practice yesterday was both special and at the same time exhausting as i had three back to back second molar root canal in my clinic and we all know that second molars are little tricky owing to their anatomical location it can be very difficult to access especially if the patient also has limited mouth opening and imagine doing three cases back to back so i'm just going to share that with you because each case had unique anatomy and also some interesting learning objectives and that's why i made this post so this is the first patient which is a left maxillary second molar with a distoproximal caries and what could be challenging here is to achieve isolation throughout the procedure so we prefer to do the pre endodontic build up even before we begin the endodontic treatment so that we can have a good leak proof isolation and the pre endodontic build up was just done with a tofelmeyer and an ivory number 8 band here you can see once the pre endo build up is done you can achieve nice good isolation even with a single tooth isolation and you can work stress free and what was unique about this case was that the mesio buccal and the disto buccal canals were so close to each other as you can see you see the location of them almost from the same orifice and they were also located pretty deep in the pulp chamber and surely you can see that the magnification plays a very important role in locating and managing these canals and i'll also share some quick clinical tips for managing such anatomy especially during instrumentation obturation avoid bigger taper files so these these two canals were just instrumented with four person files and even while obturating use lesser taper gp compared to your six person because the thicker the taper of the gp when you place the gp in one orifice it can easily block the other orifice and also you can see the importance of armamentarium the obturation pen or my down pack unit precisely able to share the gp deep down the orifice without blocking the second orifice and i'm able to easily place or access the other canal without getting obstructed and the same way my down pack unit precisely able to share the gp exactly where i want it to do and you can see that the palatal canal has been obturated with a 6% cone but the two orifices that are very close to each other has just been managed with 4% files here So this is the final post op of the first case. And this is the second case which is again a left mandibular second molar this is a referred endo. So I have to refer the case back after the root canal to the referring dentist and here again you can see that the mesio buccal and the mesio lingual orifices are very close to each other. And quite often people look at just one among the two of these canals and think that this case has only two canals they may be either searching for the second orifice is really far away from the main canal but a word of caution in all these second molars when you're not able to find the second canal just make sure use some magnification and it may be just located very close to the first canal that you're located so this is again a three canal second molar and again obturated with the same technique and this was the post op and this is the third case comparatively easy i could breathe easy because this did not have a distal proximal cavity which was very difficult to isolate during your treatment and also the canals were not as close to each other like the other two canals here you can see they're little far away from each other so it's comparatively easy to manage but the canals had were a little longer compared to the other two cases and also were highly curved in the mesio buccal canal especially and this was this is how we managed it so the take home message is that second molars are one of the toughest to treat so you can take your time i mean <laughs> not like me planning all the uh, second molars back to back can be really exhausting 
and also make sure or you need to be aware that all second molars need not have the same anatomy you can see they can have different ways to express ranging from lesser number of canals sometimes to more canals and yesterday we, i had posted a case about c-shaped canal that's again a mandibular second molar so see you all soon in our next video